welcome to a TLDR boss guide for the Echo of Neltharion, because the devs realised bringing back classic class calls was a bad idea. The Echo of Neltharion is available after killing Magmarex and has three health-based phases. In each phase, the boss creates walls in a star pattern throughout the room that damage anyone standing where they spawn, so... Oh, they can be broken by a few abilities, but are remade when the boss phases. Rushing Darkness targets a few players and throws them away, damaging and silencing anyone between them and the boss. They break any walls they hit, giving the raid a stacking dot per wall, so don't break too many at once. For tanks, Calamitous Strike is a tank hit with a damage taken increase and a large knockback, and again, this will send you through the walls. Swap before you die, but at least you get to be a wrecking ball. In phase one, Volcanic Heart makes a few players explode, so move out if you get it, and it gives you a dot, so don't stand on top of each other. And Echoing Fissure is massive damage around the boss with a large hit of raid wide, so move away, and healers pop a CD if you need. It leaves behind a pool, so try to drop it at the edge, and when he casts again, it'll cast on every pool left behind. At 70%, there's an intermission where the boss channels some raid-wide damage with swirls, followed by a larger hit at the end, just to keep the healers busy. In phase 2, the boss summons ants, which stop him dropping below 40%, so you need to kill them before you can phase. They each have a damage shield, and when you break it, they deal raid-wide damage until they die, so kill them one at a time to be nice to your healers. On Heroic, Corruption is a debuff on a few players that makes them hostile, so the raid can kill you accidentally on purpose. Only corrupted players can attack the ads, but when their shield breaks, they become targetable by everyone. Rushing Darkness still happens, but tanks now get Sunder Shadow. The boss pulls a Doctor Strange and knocks you out of your body, dealing a big tank hit, then shoots your body back at you, breaking the walls and dealing more damage. The extra damage is based on your missing health, so make sure you get topped off and pop a defensive so you aren't flattened by your own ass. And while you're a ghost, you can move through the walls for tactical positioning. Volcanic Heart happens, same as Phase 1, as well as some more swirls to dodge, and Umbral Detonation is a large raid-wide hit that increases with each cast, so phase him before you all get goobered. At 40%, with no ants alive, you'll start Phase 3. Throughout the phase, portals appear that spawn a bunch of Void Ads that let everyone pad their meters. Standing under the portals does hurt, but it also protects you from Evan Destruction, a one-shot cast that removes the portals with people hiding in them. Get rid of as many portals as you can so you don't get swarmed, and on Heroic, the ads get bigger over time, so kill them ASAP. You still get Rushing Darkness and tanks get Calamitous Strike from Phase 1, but all that's left is to kill the boss before you run out of portals and the one-shot kills you all. And that's all for the Echo of Naltharian. Congrats on your kill. Now there's only one more boss between us and our long-awaited Void expansion, Copium. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one.